Well, this winter blast, a perfect storm for the $800 million snowmobile industry here in Western New York. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan tells us, riders and businesses alike are hopeful for a very strong season. The snow helps everything, like I said, the justification of putting a plow on your machine. It's that time of year again in western New York. With snow on the ground, people are anxious to get their snowmobiles ready for the start of the season. And for shops like Pioneer Motorsport on Olean Road in Chafee, that means a last second rush of customers. They're going to get their oils, their spare belts, um, maybe some new clothing, new gloves, heat advisors for their helmets. Um, and they're, they're going to be ready to take off. Business at Pioneer is better than it has been the past two winters. Mild Decembers and weaker snowfall all around hurt businesses with fewer people hitting the trails. But things are off to a much better start this year, and Michelle Armstrong with Pioneer hopes it will stay that way. They've been watching Channel 7 and Andy Parker. Um, the long-range forecast looks good for us, and I think people are watching that and knowing that it's, it's time for them to get their machine serviced. It's time to get geared up with the right apparel. While shops like Pioneer are busy getting customers ready to snowmobile, local snowmobile clubs are busy getting the trails ready for the start of the season. Uh, we're putting in trail markers so the people know where to go down the trail. Uh, you have to do stop ahead, stop signs at all road crossings. Rick Jackson volunteers with Pioneer Snow Surfers, a snowmobile club in Sardinia. They're working hard to make sure public trails are safe and ready to ride. Oh, it's going to be real good this year. All, as of right now, usually the, when the trails open, we always get a thaw or maybe no snow. And as of right now, this year it looks really good. Trails in Erie County open to the public on December 20th. In Chafee, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.